Okay guys, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is go over a quick demonstration on how to import uh, additional modules into uh, Metasploit. Uh, I had a few issues, um, obviously now that it was old, so hopefully these same issues are the ones that you're occur uh, that's occurring on your side and hopefully they uh, resolve your issue uh, as well. So I have a, as a, an example, I have a remote execution uh, script that I wanted to download. And a simple download is obviously uh, can be used by going to the download button uh, and downloading that content, which is absolutely fine. I know that some people had some issues actually downloading um, uh, formatting and stuff like that. So the first thing that I did, if I do a history um, and I do um, the, oh, the same commands that I did to pull that data file. So I'll put that in the comments below. Uh, but if I do a quick ls, you should see that rb file. And that file is the one that you need to plop into a repository if you haven't already, um, create it into a, a created directory uh, within uh, Metasploit's hidden, hidden uh, uh, data structure. So, now that I have, so if I do a pwd, I need to go to root.msf4 and then modules. And then if I do a quick ls, there's my rb file. First issue that I came across is that if I do, if I make a uh, directory of exploit, uh, yep, and then I move that file into that exploit. Uh, what I can also do, so if I do cd exploit and I see that file, if I do a pwd, it's my full path. So if I do a tel minus f onto the log files, so two levels up, log files, and then framework. Tel minus f. So let me just put that at the top. Now on my right hand side, I'm going to run um, the Metasploit console, uh, console. And so when I do that, obviously I'm running it as root. On the left hand side, you have to log in and drop that file as root. But I'm just doing a sudo on the right hand side. When I do the startup, obviously I'm getting some logs on the left. Uh, if I do a search for that same um, numeric ID value that I downloaded, I get no results from scratch uh, from search. And the reason for that is because it's startup, it actually finds a file that it doesn't quite, it's unable to locate. Um, and the actual issue that I encountered, um, if you, uh, if I go back, my actual issue was that um, exploit is plural. So if I do a move exploit to exploits and then give it a start again. Every time you make a change and you want to import the modules, you have to set them up. Um, oh, so let's just go back to files. There we go. So every time you have to do that, you have to exit and then start up the MS config again. And then this time you'll actually see that the module's been collected. So if I do a search for the same value, I end up finding it again. So very simple, um, but it was a, a headache that no one needs to go through, including myself, and hopefully this uh, resolves it uh, for you guys. So. Very good. Thank you everyone for watching and see you next time.